Hi everybody, Natalia Tolstini, crochet.com. In this video, I would like to show you how to handle a few colors when you are working on a multicolored embossed crochet project. This technique can be useful even if you are working only with two colors, and the more colors, uh, the more useful it is. So, if you are not switching between colors properly, your ends, your working ends, get twisted between each other and you have to untwist them uh, all the time. It's really annoying and uh, can discourage you from proceeding with your project uh, entirely. The first thing you need to do is to place your skeins in separate bowls and some distance apart. So let's begin. Uh, the first color I will be working with is gray color, so I'm picking it up. And I'm grabbing two of the colors in my hand to enclose them in the stitches. I have uh, a few previously made videos for enclosing yarn in back post and front post stitches. I will include those links in the description and I definitely recommend watching those first. So I will be making back post uh, double crochet and enclosing two other ends in the stitch. Well, this video is not about enclosing yarn, but I guess you can have best of both. Uh, let's look at the wrong side. You can see that ends get enclosed in the stitches. Another back pose double crochet. And my next stitch is increasing stitch. I'm making back pose double crochet and back pose a treble in the same stitch. And this is American crochet terminology. So now I have to make last yarn over, but my next stitch is yellow, so I have to switch uh, to yellow color finishing this stitch. I'm letting all ends go and I'm picking yellow coming from the skein, from the bow. And without paying attention what is happening to two other ends, I'm just taking them in my hand to enclose. You see they got twisted a little bit, but that's how it should be. Do not pay attention to that. And I'm after back bow stitch, I'm just switching to yellow color. My next stitch is decreasing stitch. I will be making front post treble in these two posts of previous um, row decreasing stitch and front post double crochet in the next stitch and together. So this is front post treble. And front post double crochet in the next stitch. While finishing this stitch, I have to switch to next color, which is brown. Again, I'm letting all ends go freely, and I'm picking brown color coming from the skein, and without paying attention how two other ends twist around that working end, I'm grabbing them with my hand to enclose. So now I'm going to enclose yarn in front post stitch. It's different from back post stitch. So I switch to brown color. My next stitch is a front post double crochet with brown color. And next stitch will be made with yellow color, so I have to switch again. Uh, pull up those non-working ends from time to time to prevent uh, them from picking between stitches. Again, letting all ends go. And picking up yellow coming from the skein, not randomly next to the stitch, but from the skein. Two other ends to enclose switching to the yellow color and enclosing two other ends in front post stitch. Front post double crochet with yellow color. 
letting ends go picking up brown coming from the skin and grabbing two other colors finishing stitch switching to brown color and closing two other ends in the stitch and so on once you get hand of that uh, I'm doing it very slow as you can see um, but once you get a hand of it, um, you will do it much faster. Let's take a look at the wrong side. You can see that ends get enclosed in front stitches as well as in back stitches. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you need uh, help with my patterns, feel free to join Outstanding Crochet and Friends group on Facebook. This is Pattern Support Group. You can find this link uh, in the description on my website outstandingcrochet.com or just look it up on Facebook. Thank you for watching.